This is This Day in Wrestling. I'm Jennifer from Cultaholic. It is May the 19th. May 19th, May 19th. Yeah. Here he is, this is Ross. Again. Scary day, isn't it, for Kane? Mm, Poor old bugger. Bless. But before, <laughs> before we go into any of that, let's uh, go to 1905. A I wasn't long... even born then. No, nor was I. <laughs> but it was a, a, a very historical by the sounds of it. This is mental. Yeah, this is actually crazy. So Tom Jenkins and Frank Gotch, two names I'm, I'm not familiar with, we were partaking in a... I went to school with Frank Gotch. Did you? Huh? Yeah. What age was he? Held back Same a few years. Thing, yeah. <laughs> and this was a best of three falls match. And it actually lasted two hours and 15 minutes. It's a long time that, isn't it? Mental. That's so long. I know we had a match on Raw recently that went just over an hour. Which Seth is... Rollins didn't even win the match he was mm -mm. in an hour with. Or was it? That was two hours as well. Jesus Christ. Was it two hours? Well, I think it was, yeah. My mind has just gone blank after the casket thing. <laughs> but yeah, mental. Remember how the world lost the bananas when that match went that long? Mm. So imagine back then. That's crazy Ooh. though. That's like, what do you think about kind of matches like that that are very like do you lose interest do you personally no, I, I do because i'm a child yeah me too i like and, uh, my attention span i just want to get to the end of things me too i think it gets to a point where I'm sure it was good i'm sure, I'm it, was sure great. it was good no nobody's denying that but um i mean i was there i can tell you it was very good was it yeah, yeah. school trip to yeah, see your pal school trip to see your pal frank <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, two hours and 15 minutes, that's a long, long time. I don't think I would have lasted. Monumental. Yep. 1905. That's happened. 1989. It's a, a very loose reference. Now I saw the scene in question where the wrestling link comes mm -hmm. and I thought I can't not include that in this Fair play. on this day. Fair play. It was a cinematic release of Roadhouse. Have you seen it? I think I have actually. I haven't, but I've seen the scene which links this to wrestling. Mm -hmm. It involves Terry Funk. Yeah. Terry Funk's in the film. He seems to be in some sort of gang or clan outside this bar, and he says something bad to Patrick Swayze and smashes a bottle on the floor, and then that's it. That's, that's it. That's the bit I saw. That's his whole rule. Yeah. And you've included it. Yep. Yeah. Terry Funk in a film. Fair play. I love Terry Funk. Me. I like Terry Funk. We met too. him in uh, Orlando. Did you? Was, not Orlando, sorry, Dallas. Oh my goodness, what was you It was a like? sad story because we're in oh. Kenny's hotel, just watched NXT takeover, huh? and came down the stairs and there was in the the lobby of the hotel there was a wedding reception going on and a big white sheet which segregated that off, and just sat on this chair on his own on the outside of this wedding reception going on was Terry Funk eating a burger on his own. It was a, a horrible sight to see. My he was like, heart. Hello, Terry. And he was like, hey, guys. And he's like, he comes out like slow oh, from the God. goodies. <laughs> <laughs> he had a mouth full of food, so I guess he did. But yeah, he's just eating a burger on his own while this wedding reception's going. I don't think he was at the wedding reception. I was going to say, maybe he just like, wanted yeah, a wee Being five booted minutes. out for smashing bottles like he did in Roadhouse. But oh, yeah. Terry Funk. You egg sucking soul. dog. That's what he called for. <laughs> I'm just calling you that for the crack. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. 1990. NWA presented Capital Combat, the return of Robocop. Oh. Uh, anything We've all wanna... seen this, haven't we? Where St <laughs> Rob uh, Sting's trapped in a little cage. Nope, I've not seen this. And Robocop comes out and walks down the aisle like Robocop I take it this was just a, a kind of promotion for Robocop yep. 2. Yep, one of the best worst moments in wrestling. It depends on your perspective. I well, loved it me because it was so horrible. Oh really? I was going to say you thought you were a fan of Robocop. I've never seen it. I'm not, really, I'm not, much, of, I'm not much of a film guy. Oh no? No. Apart from Roadhouse. No, in fact, because you only really. saw that. I saw the that? trailer and then that's where Terry Funk's in the trailer luckily. We didn't have to see the whole thing. Apparently it's crap, that film. Roadhouse? Yeah. Really Rotten it. Tomatoes apparently gave it all sorts of horrible reviews. Oh, oh well. But anyway, Robocop. Well, return Yay. Capital Combat, Return of Robocop on this day. Um, 1991 WCW Super Brawl. Ric Flair defeated Fujinami. Tatsumi Fujinami. To unify. WWE Hall of Famer 2015, I believe. Oh, was it 2015? I think so. There you go. Maybe it was 2014. 2015, I think. This victory united the WCW and um, the NWA World Championships. 
that would have been more monumental than it sounds like back then. Yeah, no, I definitely think that's monumental. Yeah. When two championships collide. When two become one. <gasps> oh, Spice Girls. girls. Who, what Spice Girl would you be? What Spice Girl would I be? Jerry. I can totally see you as a Jerry. <laughs> I'm Baby, obviously. Obviously. Oh no, wait, wait, maybe Jack though would be Baby. Nah, Jack would be like... Jack would be sporty. Because she was a bit aggro, wasn't she? A bit like, <laughs> always on edge. She was, yeah, yeah. Jack's a bit like that. Well, there you go. But she, you can be posh. <laughs> of course. So Natalie's. that means it sounds scary. Sounds scary, naturally. Oh, but, but what about Matthew? Uh, yeah, Matthew can be the tour manager that's in the film on the bus. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Richard E. Grant. <laughs> yeah, Richard E. Grant is Matthew. He kind of looks like him. There you go. That's your words, not mine. Another notable uh, match that happened at this was El Gigante defeated Sid Vicious in so, a the giant Gonzalez from WWF mm. with the, the suit. Um, but this was a, a stretcher match. It involved zero stretches. Stretchers and lasted all of two minutes. So yes, giant Gonzalez, great from the start of his career, all the way to the end. <laughs> highlights, highlights. Uh, yeah, and... Oh, this was Sid's final bout. Oh, well, he went back? Yeah. Yeah. And then he would debut that summer as Sid Justice. There you go. Uh, 1995, we're going to a house show. And I like it when there's, um, you know, points of interest from a house show. They're few and far between, aren't they? They are. And I, but they're necessary to keep people coming back. Definitely, definitely. And I think it's really good when titles change, like this in 2005. We're really 1995. What did I say? 2005. 1995. Giving both men far too much credit you are. <laughs> is it one of, just because one of them's your personal friend? Oh, you're <laughs> never going to let this drop, are you? Razor Ramon would become the Intercontinental Champion. Defeating who? Um, he defeated... Double J. Yes, he did, Jeff Jarrett. In a ladder match. Mm, in a ladder match. And this would be really monumental for... Razor Ramon because he is now the man, the first man to ever hold the Intercontinental three times. Yeah. So, a man who's six foot seven, weighs as much as he does, took part in a lot of ladder matches, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. That is weird. It's a weird concept, but he was good at them. So, of course he did. So it sort of makes sense for you, doesn't it? It does make sense. If you're good at something, keep doing it. Absolutely. That's why we're here today, doing this. 1996, we have another WCW Slambery. Something from Dusty Rose, no doubt about it. Mm. It sounds like it comes from him. That was a yeah. great impression as well. That What's your really Dusty good. Rose? I don't have Bring one. it out, come on, have I no don't, shame. I'm not good. I'm only Doesn't good at Doesn't matter, I'm not Simmons, good, I'm awful. No, you are good. With Dusty Rose. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Johnny, what's he called? Johnny, the cartoon. Johnny Bravo. Hey, baby. Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Bravo. What's your That's who I song? sounded like. Anyway. Anyway, tell Lord me about this. Lord of the Ring. Tell me about that. Tag teams paired together randomly, fought, and then the winners went into a battle royal where on the line was the title of Lord of the Ring and a ring and a World Heavyweight Championship match, I think. And a ring? Not a wrestling ring, I think. A... Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? I would hope. Where would you put you... that? I'd just subliminally say, get more practice, pal. Here's a <laughs> ring for yourself. But yeah, I think that's what happened. So yeah. That sounds a bit nuts. And of course, this might sound familiar to fans of WCW back then because it was a concept used before, and that concept was called what? Battle Bowl, I believe, which WCW used between 1991 and 1993. Knowledge is power. Internet. This Lord of the Rings, the final. The what final. did it? What did it culminate in? Because so I, I don't it, know. Battle Royal. DDP won, or he thought okay. he won. He thought he won the World Heavyweight Championship shot. He thought he won the ring for the finger, not to do the practice in. <laughs> but they showed a replay which showed the Barbarian eliminating him and one of DDP's feet hit the floor. It's not like a Royal Rumble. Of course, that rule was rewritten after Shawn Michaels botched <laughs> at uh, a later date. Uh, one foot hitting the floor back then met elimination, so that meant DDP was eliminated and didn't oh. Sucks to be you, doesn't it, DDP? Oh, not really. Not really, I think Looks he's great doing... for being 62, was he? 62, yeah. I think we had a birthday we recently, did, didn't we? did, last month. Of course we did, I bring the birthdays. Yes, you well, do. I do. Um, but it was a complicated concept. Yeah, that's a bit but confusing. It's very symptomatic of WCW back then, and Dusty Rhodes, presumably. I think he was in charge then, so yeah. There you go, Lord of the Ring. 
So, 1996, we will go to a very famous day. The day that Kayfabe died. Mm. The town your perspective. The curtain call. But in this show, obviously a lot happened, um, prior... The Godwins defeated the yes. Body Donners for to the win tag the Tag Team, team Championship. Mm, for the Tag Team Champs. Uh, also, as well, in his first Madison Square Garden match since 1991, the Ultimate Warrior defeated Owen Hart. Then I will let, pass over to you, Mr. Trudell. <laughs> what else are you You can... don't say it like that as well, are you? <laughs> Fantastic. But yes, of course, we all know Diesel and Hunter Hearst Helmsley were heels, sorry. Razor and Sean were faces. But despite that, they killed the kayfabe right in the face. All got in the ring after the main event, hugged it out. Because, of course, Scott and Kevin were going to WCW and everyone lost their bananas. Apparently, Vince McMahon allowed them to do this, although he wasn't quite sure what they were going to do. Ah, so, so he did tonight. Yeah, but obviously some fan caught it on camera and it has lived in infamy ever since. Kayfabe died today. We've not had a death yet. <laughs> We've got any <laughs> proper deaths? <laughs> no, but Kayfabe died. 2002, Judgment Day. Judgment Day. Just heard you've got this on VHS. Oh, I you did, did, yeah. Got a, a traditional Tweddle Fantastic School report. That's got so, this that's is, my favourite thing. Got this as a present. Oh, I love this. You're so got good go in to school. Got to go to and pick a video out. But great. I swear there. That's how great it was. <laughs> but this was the sight of, first of all, Kurt Angle losing all his hair to Edge in a hair versus hair match. Mm. Apparently they ribbed Edge, as they say in the trade, told him all the way up until they, the day of the event that he was going to lose. Aww. And obviously lose all his luscious long hair. And Edge apparently was like, don't do that. I used this hair to cover up my ugly face. That is a quote from Edge, apparently. Did he actually yeah. say that? Yeah. He's not got an ugly face, though. He's got a gorgeous face. Uh, so, yeah, oh. Kurt ended up losing that, of course, because mm -hmm. he was going bald. So, why not? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was a means to an end, basically. Uh, this was also the event where Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman defeated the Hardy Boys in a feud where <laughs> Paul Heyman was caught rummaging round in Lita's suitcase flicking all the thongs about on Raw and stuff, the dirty old man. And also, most famously probably from this event was the sight of Undertaker winning the Undisputed Championship with the single worst choke slam in the history of wrestling, where he lifted Hulk Hogan about six centimeters off the floor and then put him down. Just put him down. Just put him down, mate. Put him down, put, put, him down, put him to bed. Aww. But yeah, Hogan had won the championship from Triple H at Batlash the month prior. So yeah, it was like a hot potato. <laughs> 2006, big day for Kane. Oh God, his film came out. See no evil. See no evil. You seen it? No, I know he had a hook. He played a big scary man. I actually think I have this on DVD and I've just not watched it. Well, there's two of us there then. Have you got it on DVD too? No, no, just haven't seen it. Oh, I thought you would have as well, being such a fan. I was a fan of Kane the wrestler. I saw this is the period of time where I dropped off a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Me too, actually. But May 19th, obviously, the promos aired and the big scary mm -hmm. voice would be on the screen. On the screen? In the speakers. And out came Luke Gallows dressed as fake Kane. And that feud happened. Great. <laughs> Fond memories of fake yep. Kane. We move on to an extreme rules now um, in 2013. Loads happened on this. Loads. Stacked. It was a stacked, stacked card. Uh, Chris Jericho would go on to defeat Fandango. Getting back his WrestleMania defeat. Yep, that's that. But imagine that, losing to Fandango at WrestleMania. I know, Chris Jericho of all people. <laughs> what to be said, what to be said. Dean Ambrose would go on to defeat Kofi Kingston for the United States Championship. Start of a bloody long reign, wasn't it? It was, actually. A bloody long reign. Yeah, 351 days it was. Not too bad. Well, Although that back then, that belt meant diddly squat, didn't it? Let's be don't real. It. Let's no, be real. Don't, don't keep it squat. there. No, it definitely meant something to Dean Ambrose for, <laughs> for 351 days. Of course. <laughs> uh, Seamus, we're going to defeat Mark Henry in a strap match. Ooh. That Kinky. <laughs> Alberto Del Rio defeated Jack Swagger in an hey? eye kit. Hey! <laughs> Not a fan of five star wrestling? <laughs> I am. I oh, was, sorry. Jack Swagger's famous promos where he was just. Like <laughs> Jack Swagger just came out with these promos where you make random noises. Hey! Did he? Yeah. And that was one of them. Yep. Hey! It's a funny, it's a Stop joke he would say. Hey! 
<laughs> oh dear. Big fan of Jack Swagger. I can tell. Post WWE. I can tell. Oh, the Shield would go on to defeat Team Hell No. I loved Team Hell No. Who didn't love Team Hell No? Loved. That was a Texas Tornado Rules match. Oh, for what the a tag day. Team championships. Was that on this day or was that, that a different day? No, it was this day. All these days blend into one when you sat here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that happened. So, Team Hell No. I loved that. I loved all their promos. If you didn't like that, you didn't have a, a sense of humour or a heart. Absolutely. All the promos when they would go in there. Like to all the kind of counselling and Oh yeah. <laughs> we've, all, we've all been there. <laughs> it's so good. Hey, Randy Orton defeated the big show in an extreme rules match. Big chair. Or was it a big ladder? I think it was a big ladder. We'll go with a big ladder. Go for one of them. Big he's, chair. Because I don't know if you know this about the big show, right? He's, he's, really, he's quite big. I do. So you needed a bigger ladder? I just thought he was very close up. <laughs> Great save, get up for Great save. John Cena and Ryback fought to a no contest and a last man standing for the championship. <sighs> Ryback is a main event. That's nuts, actually. To think, my head. to think about that, that was only like well five years ago, but and now he just makes up lies to keep himself relevant. <laughs> And then Brock Lesnar defeated Triple H in a steel cage match. Getting back his WrestleMania defeat as well. Mm. So that was loads happened. Yep. 2013 Extreme Rules. My wee birthday stork, true to form. I am the birthday man. <laughs> I love it. You Come bring... from down your way. <laughs> and what do I play? You bring a huge, huge birthday today. Got a big basket of birthdays. We well, bring three. But big you... bundle of joy. <laughs> This is a big bundle of joy because it's Andre the Giant's birthday. Oh, it's the biggest bundle of joy. Mm, 72 Possible. would have been. Christ. That's old. It is old. But. He also died. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yes, he did, unfortunately. Thought, yeah, it's a sad story. It's all it's, it a, it's a wonderf it's a, a wonderfully sad story. Because obviously travelled the world, massive attraction, mm -hmm. legendary figure, almost mythical some of the stories you mm -hmm. hear, but then obviously he had later life the pain and travelling around being seven foot four, whatever he was, in a a world not made for him. No. And he was, died alone in his sleep. So that's what it was wonderfully it's his birthday, sad. Though, so yeah, let's happy think of birthday, Andre. You now have a Andre Rusimov. You have a battle royale named after you these days now. I'm sure. That's nice. He's skipping in his grave knowing that. That's oh, launched the career of so many greats in the wrestling today. Happy birthday, Andre! It's like Mojo Rawling, Baron Corbin. We have another one, uh, Alistair Black. New NXT champ. He is indeed. Dutch he, man. Yeah, he turns 33 today. Devil on his back? Yeah, formerly known in the Indies as Tommy End. You all know who he is, I don't know what yeah. we can say that you don't know. Exactly, he's, um, yeah, great. You must know him. I do, yeah, it's very well. Go on, give us a story. I don't, I, he actually, I'll tell you a story. He came off a match in ICW once and he was a very angry man about something that had happened for life of me, I don't know what it was. Uh, and I was coming down from doing an interview and he booted, full scale booted a door open to which I was behind and nearly completely what took me out. Did, did he finish her on you? No, Spin no. Spin and heel kick right at the face. No, no, not quite. He not was quite. that angry backstage. No, no, he, uh, he booted a door open and nearly took me out with it. What did you say? Oh. How dare you? No, I didn't say a word because <laughs> he was very angry. But he did come back and say sorry. Look, he was oh, like, that's sorry. Because right, so, he's a lovely guy. A nice devilish so, man. Happy birthday, Alistair Black. Another birthday. Tom Phillips. As we all know, Tom, famous for, <laughs> for <laughs> commentating being, on yeah, Smackdown Live, Smackdown NXT Live. before that, and also meddling in the Instagram direct messages of a lady, which we all laughed about because, you know, he got caught with his pants down. He did. He's 29. Happy birthday. Today. 29? Yeah. He's young. He's been around for years. Yeah. Also, the punch bag of Stephanie McMahon, once upon a time. Once upon still, a time. Still riles me up the wrong way, that does. Uh, sorry clearly, clearly, we're a good few days after it. Actually, we spoke about it first yeah. time round, and you're still not over. I'll never forget. Anyway, happy birthday, happy Tom. birthday, Tom! So that was this day in wrestling, and you can follow me on Twitter here. If you like what we do at Cultaholic, you can support us by pledging to our Patreon, patreoncom forward slash Cultaholic. And most importantly, don't forget to hit subscribe and join us. <laughs>